is get over yourselves, do the responsible, common sense thing, get a shot. With breakthrough infections and new research on the Delta variant causing some alarm, we've seen the CDC tighten its mask recommendations and now booster shots are becoming a serious discussion. And as one doctor told me here, this is already a bad situation, but still an impending storm is coming. With more breakthrough infections making headlines, Pfizer now calling for booster shots. The company revealing new data showing after six months, their vaccine's efficacy against COVID dropped from 96% to 84%. And that data comes from March, before the Delta variant became the dominant strain. Ultimately, the FDA will decide if booster shots are needed, but some people like David Barron in Chicago have already gotten them. David is immunosuppressed, and even after receiving both Moderna shots, doctors still couldn't detect antibodies in his system. So they made a special recommendation for him to get the J&J &J vaccine, too. Happy to say that I have an antibody response now. The virus is inarguably surging across huge portions of the country. The average daily caseload up more than 50% from last week. But some hotspots, despite the spread, are pushing back against the experts. Seven states banning mask mandates, many more reporting lagging vaccinations. Health officials growing increasingly frustrated. The highest case rates are now in Louisiana and Florida. At Tampa General Hospital, the average COVID patient used to be in their 80s. Now they're in their 40s. The hospital has seen their COVID patient load increase sevenfold over the past three weeks. Right behind me. All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our praise to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rakhakwadash. Double honors be to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. Who I learned this truth from. I'm the Akiha Amayan. Okay, and Shalom to the hopeful elect that's pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And um, Shalom to the sincere Aqua, for your sisters coming back, being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you have to understand that Esau Eden was so called white man, which is the devil the Bible speaks of. This is chap this is Job chapter 13 and verse 4, and it reads, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Okay, this is for your demise. You do not um partake into Esau Edom's agenda. This is a part of their great reset to bring everybody to uh, to uh initially bring everybody into that uh go back there. Go, to bring everybody in that uh, great reset they want to form that one world government that new world order okay they want to push their agenda okay and you heard what the man said it's going to be an impending storm that storm ultimately coming from you how about your mouth shot okay this, he also said this uh this new uh strain they want everybody to take the uh vanessa since uh a lot of people are uh, UV'd, okay? And it ain't done turn sevenfold in three weeks, okay? So ultimately, it's the Lord, y'all, by Shema Shah, but we've been warning y'all and telling y'all what's coming from the apostles and elders all the way down. You've been warned, okay? So Esau Edom is lying to you. This is for your demise. And you're going to ultimately take that CHIP, that chip, okay? Pursuing the Revelation 13, 16. Because you have no knowledge, man. You destroy it for a lack of knowledge. Um, you believe in this devil. And he's the devil. Okay. Psalms chapter 58 and verse 3. It say, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And who is that? Okay. That's Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which is the devil the Bible speaks of. They speak in lies. This is not to help you. This is to harm you. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and they that may rob the fatherless. And that's what's going on. They seek to lay on the poor. 
They want East Side, I mean, East Side Edom want the whole nation of Israel to be extinct, but the Lord is, is only for the elect's sake. That's not going to partake into East Side Edom's agenda. Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number, Abba Rada Zai, okay? Because um, if it wasn't for a remnant, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, the days shall be shortened, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So this guy, East Side Edom and his whole... Um, his whole the the elites, okay, the Illuminatus, as I may say. Um, they have an agenda, okay. The top, uh, elite international banker families, okay, who run the world. Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay, they want to slay, they want to slay, kill, slander, and slay. That's all they want to do, okay. And a lot of y'all gonna, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna befall y'all because it's gonna take y'all by storm because you're not being on your watch, you're not considering the times, and you acting like this don't apply to you, okay. You looking at all these celebrities like, oh, they got it, they got it, they millionaires and or whatever you doing in the streets, or whatever you doing that you think the Lord don't see, the Lord see all things. And he also see this devil coming out with great wrath, pursuant to Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Okay? So you got to realize that uh, this is for your demise. Uh, um... Let me get uh let me get uh Leviticus Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai. Okay? So peep that part. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh, whether it be for the dead. That's going into tattoo, but you still don't supposed to make no cuttings in your flesh. Okay? Receive never Vanessa. Okay, you don't supposed to be doing this. To you Israelite, this was commanded to Israel. Okay, Yasha Allah, princes of the power. But two thirds would not hearken. They would try to uh, establish their righteousness by thinking this is the way to go. Because they fear Esau Edom. They fear his tactics. Okay, the 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 the, the uh, agenda he the the his agenda they fear because they don't have no wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who? Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shah, who the word ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. We fear the Lord, man. The fear, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So what's keeping us stable is having the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shah. And we understand that the Lord told us, um, we understand that the Lord told us in 2 Corinthians, Chapter 2, verse 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant. We don't lack in knowing that. We know you want to poison us. We know you want to ultimately kill us, because you want to ultimately kill the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who's coming back for his second coming. But you're not. The Lord said he's not coming back to meet you as a man. Okay? He's an angelic being. Okay? The Lord is finna come back to rule. Lord willing, we're gonna rule with him. We'll be a part of that remnant, that elect. Okay? And also, the scriptures say what? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And I just proved that Esau Edom, the so called white man, 
He's the forger of lies. Physicians of no value. I just proved that you don't supposed to make no cuttings of the flesh. Okay? I just proved that these are unrighteous decrees. Now, you prove you two-thirds or whoever against this video or against what Yahweh Shema Shah said, prove that that's right. Don't give me your vain opinion. Prove in the Bible by scriptures that you're supposed to take it. Okay? Lord willing, y'all was edified. I didn't plan on making this lesson long. I just came across that video and wanted to put it on wax and warn the people real quick that do not take an Esau Edom's agenda, man. You will be punished and brutally put to death by way of plagues or fire, thermonuclear fire, or some type of discretion you have by Shemal Shah has for you. Okay, to the hopeful elect, wake up, get right with the Lord and cleave with cleave to the Lord. Stick with the Lord, man. We all most out of here. Just be patient. Okay, till the next time, I would like to give our glory, honor, infinite praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhah, Kodash. Double honors be to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. How I learned the truth from Shalom to the hopeful elect that is pushing the truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the sincere Aqua. Your sisters coming back, being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. Do not partake into Esau Edom's agenda. How about Shemar Shah is finna take this devil down? Okay. Shalom, Abba, Baba, Barak, Kal, Akim, Kwam, Yasha, Allah.